Hey guys, welcome back. So today in the shop we have three very different cars, Lamborghini, Ferrari and a Porsche with three very different briefs. So we're going to get into it now. So the Lamborghini came in um, with quite a few swirl marks and in you know, less than satisfactory condition. So the first thing we had to do to it was do a full cut and polish to correct the paint, to get it nice and pure again, to get it as close to it as it was from factory as possible. The owner didn't opt for PPF uh, as he very rarely drives the car and he wanted it just to look as best as it possibly can and he wanted it protected and easy to maintain. So we've done a full ceramic coating on the whole car to add to that ease of maintenance. Um, so the owner gets a brand new car again. So the Ferrari is a car from a very similar era. It's more or less the same age as the Lamborghini. However, it was in really good condition and the owner wanted to maintain that condition as best as he could. And also he's gonna be driving quite a lot, going on freeways, going through country drives and things like that. So he went with full PPF on the whole car. Now for this car, we didn't have any templates. So we had to do a complete custom job to get maximum coverage for the car and give the best result. So the whole car, top to toe, is covered in PPF to stop from stone chips, scratches, and any kind of damage that you may get from driving. So with this GT3 here, it's a couple of years old now, but it came to us brand new from the dealer. It still had all the stickers and all the protective coverings on it, hadn't even been washed from new. So we completely prepped it from new, did a paint correction. This owner is very fastidious. Uh, he tracks the car, he doesn't do a lot of kilometers, but all the kilometers that he does do is on the track. So he's opted with full PPF on the whole car and on the bumper, uh, the bonnet, the fenders and the rocker panels. We've done a double layer PPF to protect it from stone chips uh, for when he does the track days and the mountain drives. Also the interior has been fully protected with a, an abrasion resistant coating. The wheels come off, had come off, we completely coated the wheel wells, lifted it up on the hoist, uh, completely coated the undercarriage so it's easy to clean and stays clean uh, for many years to come. So the question we most often get asked is, how should I protect my vehicle? Now, as you can see here, we have three very different ways of protecting your vehicle. None is right or wrong. So it would depend on what you do with your vehicle, how often you drive your vehicle. Um, so if you drive it every day or it's a sort of more of a weekender um, and what you're concerned about. So if you're more concerned towards ease of maintenance and not so concerned about scratches or stone chips, we would lean more towards ceramic coating. If you're more concerned about uh, scratches, stone chips and things like that, PPF is more suited for you. Um, so there's no right or wrong answer. You can do anything you like. So here on the Lamborghini, uh, when it came in, we did a full paint correction to remove all the swirl marks uh, on the vehicle. We took the wheels off, cleaned the wheels and cleaned the wheel wells on the vehicle, a full engine bay clean and coating. The interior was then cleaned to remove the years of grime and then coated with an abrasion resistant coating. And then the whole car was covered in a ceramic coating to protect it and add to ease of maintenance. For this, prices start at $3,000. So on the Ferrari, it came in very good condition and the customer wanted to preserve the car as best as he could while still enjoying it and driving the vehicle on a regular basis. So we did a full paint enhancement on the car to remove some minor swirls and to increase the gloss. We then did a full PPF on the car to protect from stone chips and scratches and then coated the PPF to add to ease of maintenance 
uh, so the client would have a much easier vehicle to maintain afterwards. Prices for this start at $10,000. On the GT3, it came in brand new with all the stickers and everything still on the car, hadn't even been washed. So we did a new car prep on the car, cleaning and removing all the stickers and decals. We then did a paint enhancement to remove some minor swirls, factory blemishes and increase the gloss. We then removed the wheels, coated the wheels, cleaned the wheel wells and coated, then coated the wheel wells for ease of maintenance. We did a full undercarriage coating, again for ease of maintenance. Then the interior was coated with an abrasion res resistant coating for ease of maintenance and to reduce dye transfer. We then did a full PPF on the entire vehicle to protect it from stone chips and scratches. We then did a double layer PPF on the main stone chip area so no stones would go through the PPF. And then did a PPF coating on all of the PPF on the vehicle to protect it for many years to come and many track days. Here are three different ways to protect your vehicle. Feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to give you any kind of recommendations for your vehicle.